people bunking here. You know, it's you hear all the time people trying to hate on President Trump, which I think is utterly ridiculous. And let me explain why. Because you get this candidate, you get this president, during the campaign, he is literally screaming Americans first. He's screaming this. He owes no political favors. He owes no deep state favors. They can't control him. But what they can control are all the things they've already bought, like the media, Hollywood, sports entertainment, NFL. What they can do is they can create the narrative to attack President Trump. They, they control the, liberal, the liberals, the politicians, who then hide behind these illegal votes that create these walls of sanctuary and allows these politicians to try to delegitimize the presidency right along with all of our laws and everything else. These liberal politicians continue to incite violence. They continue to promote racist groups like Black Lives Matter, domestic terror groups like Antifa, all of which time they bash the American people, the taxpayers, and the law-abiding citizens. So when you we get a president that stands up and says America first and says Americans first and says God bless America and fights for the Christian morals and values of this country, fights for the sovereignty, the safety, the borders, the security of this country, of course the people who can't control him like they've managed to control every other president flip out. So it's a complete attack against the president that they can't control. So they pull out all the stops. Okay? They attack. They use CNN and all their other news agencies to badmouth them. To make them look bad. They use the entertainment world like these athletes. These NFL protests to delegitimize American law and judicial system. Ignoring the fact that the only reason these social injustices even occur are because the vast majority of this population is willing to shoot each other over the color of a rag. Because most of them have been subverted by an entire rap culture. So, when you think about that and put that in perspective, now, when they go and tear down a monument that they say represents slavery, which hasn't in almost 200 years, many of these Black Lives Matter members are in fact and do in fact belong to the Brotherhood of Islam. And I've said this many times in many of my videos. The Brotherhood of Islam currently has about 11 and a half million slaves in custody today. They have black slaves in custody inside of Af Africa and Pakistan today. So as these liberals are brainwashing this entire population of people into thinking and tearing down these monuments, it's because of a false narrative. They don't care about the monument. What they care about is delegitimizing the people, the forefathers, delegitimizing the history, hiding it so that nobody talks about it anymore. They don't want it to be talked about because they're the party that created the slavery. They're the party of it. So of course they want to hide it, tear it down. Okay? They don't want anybody to ask about it. They don't want anybody to know about it. Because when you start looking at these monuments and thinking about these monuments, our kids are going to say, who's that? What'd they do? The conversation started. Without that monument being there, our kids will never ask. Which means they'll never learn that lesson. 
And if you can't learn from your history, you're doomed to repeat it. And that's their goal. See, they know that this generation right now cannot be subverted. They know that the American people are waking up. So what they're doing is they're tucking tail and trying to get into our schools again. They're trying to uh, teach this anti-Americanism inside our own schools to somehow make our kids feel sorry for being who they are, to feel sorry for being an American, and to somehow think it's okay to break our laws. See, the real shame in this country is that the people who are hating the president are the people who don't want to get off their butts to go to work. They're the people who don't want to worry about paying taxes. They don't want... These are the people who are living fat on welfare while many other people are holding two or three jobs just to pay their bills. You see, that's the real problem with liberalism. Liberalism says take from the rich and give to those who don't care, who don't care to get up, who don't care to do anything. I walk around this town all the time. I walk around the state. I've talked to many homeless people. Let me tell you, most of them tell me they're homeless by choice. You see, that's the key. Homeless by choice. They choose to do the drugs or to drink. They choose to not want to conform to society. They choose to not want to be dealt with red bills and all that. So essentially, they choose to rather to be homeless. Stress-free. You see, that's what we're dealing with. So when you talk about the people who hate President Trump, it's all these generation of kids who are now voting age who got so used to Obama and the previous administration allowing these kids to sit on their butts and play video games all day. And now that we have a president that's saying, hey, jobs are here, time to go to work, it's like a teenager who don't want to clean up the room, who don't want to do their homework because they're too busy playing video games. So when the parent goes over there and pulls the plug and says it's time to go to school, it's time to go do your homework, chores, whatever it might be, they don't like them. First thing you hear from this teenager is, I hate you, I hate you. Well, that's what we're dealing with with the liberal left. That's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with these generation of kids who grew up playing video games all day long. Now, instead of going to work, they're choosing to collect welfare at taxpayer expense and now that a president is willing to say go to work because I'm cutting off your free ride everybody's saying I hate you I hate you I hate you well of course they do so that's my thought uh, please like subscribe pass the channel along guys let's grow this thing Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. God bless America. Peace. Dunk it out.